Start talking when a joker start talking. Get a joker. I don't listen to the talking and the joker getting mad. You see them walking, hang with them. I don't believe what you say to me. I live in reality. Now, before these little fake jokers come out talking about, oh, you have a beautiful voice, you should sing more often. Now, I know that I can only carry so many notes. Up in there, I had the Ice JJ Fish swag. And what you doing is some tricky little stuff. You only saying that in hopes that I continue to sing in every single video and it will somehow discredit me or embarrass me or whatever. Well, if you know that already, why are you singing? Uh, cause I don't care. I'm a realist with rebellious tendencies. And if I didn't do it before, I would like to say welcome to the year 2017. Did you see what I saw? Do I sound excited about that? I'm not really. Not about what's happened, but to what's happening. I know I'm being kind of selfish, you know, I'm learning stuff. This is a um, significant time. Trump being president. We didn't get the whole little martial law. We didn't get the whole assassination that all these <laughs> chuckles was talking about. This little dumb stuff. Oh, if Trump is assassinated, they're going to put an Obama guy in. Like, what, wouldn't the vice president be the president then? I mean, why why do we have to say that bull crap? But whatever, that doesn't matter anymore. Let me say it one more time. That doesn't matter anymore. And you know who else don't matter anymore? Obama. Oh, yeah, he's out of the picture now. So all of that stuff they had building up, mm, there's really no reason to talk about it. But some things do need to be uncovered and now would be the perfect time to break it down since there's really no reason to be like, oh, Obama is so good, Obama is so good. Because right now the focus is on this. Either you are for Trump or either you are against Trump. That's where the focus is. So we're going to have fun with that. Obama, your tail getting exposed in due time. But what we got here, we got this Trump guy. And he over here making this little speech. And in that there speech, he talks about putting America first, which if a person's a president, you would expect they would say, yeah, we're going to put the country first. But for some people, this is a problem. For me, I'm just not buying it. I don't believe this guy. I think the presidential position is a puppet position. It's just another guy they put up there for us to either hate or love and still the people that are in power we don't pay attention to them but let, let's just hear the bullcrap the establishment protected itself but not the citizens of our country their victories have not been your victories their triumphs have not been your triumphs and while they celebrated in our nation's capital there was little to celebrate for struggling families across our land that all changes starting right here and right now because this moment is your moment it belongs to you it belongs to everyone gathered here today and everyone watching all across America. This is your day. This is your celebration. And this, the United States of America, is your country. What truly matters is not which party controls our government, but whether our government is controlled by the people. January 20th, 2017 will be remembered as the day the people became the rulers of the nation again. I don't know about all that. Don't you got a Goldman Sachs guy in your cabinet? Yeah, it sounds like the same old same. But the same old same ain't happening with the people. And that's what I'm always concerned about. And I'm concerned about the time and, you know, the way things change. That's very interesting, too. But let's look at what we got here. So this guy is supposed to be the anti-establishment president. This is what he will go down in history as the anti-establishment president. And now we have people like Alex Jones, who is the government's propped up leader of the truth movement going mainstream now like for real in a major way the joker is connected to the president of the united states so the whole little landscape of awareness has changed dramatically within the past eight years on the right we have obama's crowd and on the left we have trump's crowd check this out 
This is Obama 09's crowd. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See that? Now let's look at Trump's. Whoa. Now, I don't know if they took this picture when it was too early, but uh, it's uh, less people. Wow. By a lot less people. So that tells you something. I would think common sense would tell me that a lot of these people that are here, they don't support Trump. But well, this is how it works. So they present him as the anti-establishment candidate. He even says himself he is the anti-establishment guy. And, you know, that's all fine and great if it was somebody else. If it wasn't somebody that was as hated as much as Trump. With him as president, we're going to get more division and the jokers in power are going to get away with more stuff. It's at a level that has never been before. When you hear people joking about the assassination of the president, continually different people talking about Trump, then you know there is a problem. Then you know we're at new levels, meaning the hate is deep and there's going to be a lot of emotional manipulation from that. Just understand I'm an independent. I don't support Donald Trump. Don't support Hillary Clinton. But I am interested in what's going to happen in the next four to eight years. Strictly because it's going to be a learning experience. I've learned a lot in the past eight years. My life has changed in the past eight years. My decision making has changed for the better. And that will continue to happen. And even though I do change, my core beliefs are stable on a firm foundation. I'm always going to be against the new world order agenda. And I see this for what it is. A lot of people just going crazy, you know, getting hurt and crying and, and they don't feel like they can go to work and all this kind of stuff. When you really look at it, the president doesn't have as much power over your life as you think on a day to day basis. Did Obama affect your life? Think about it. Not really. Now, on an overall spectrum, like things like Obamacare, that's some bull crap. That just ain't right. But on an everyday basis, it ain't them you worried about. It's the people you got to worry about. And that is the thing I am focused on. The minds of the people. Forget the president. He's a puppet. What is the mindset of the masses today? Where should it be? Is it getting better or is it getting worse? And when I say the mindset of the people, I'm saying that knowing full well that the people move in herds ending statements to the people protesting Trump throwing stuff all around you suck and you're not effective to the people over here supporting Trump 100% going all out you are supporting the government now you're not anti-establishment anymore and you're not going to be effective as well red silver J all I gotta say <laughs>